Well, this weekend we are hanging out at Jeep Stock 2020, and I figured I would show you a little about what I'm doing. Here we go. Well, hey, what's up? My name is Tony, and I'm a filmmaker photographer in St. Louis, Missouri, but right now we are in Seymour, Missouri, uh, which is kind of near the south end of Missouri, and we are filming all of these different Jeeps. Right now it's Saturday morning, and they're lining up to just uh, go out on the trails. So I figured I would show you guys what kind of gear I'm using to film uh, a Jeep event like this that has hundreds of Jeeps and uh, kind of give you the lowdown. So uh, there's two of us here, myself, and then I've got a second shooter, and uh, I just kind of figure out where I'm going to be uh, riding, and then I send my second shooter on a different group so that we get as many Jeeps represented as possible. Uh, so you can see here, there's a Jeep right behind me. Got these huge Jeeps. Um, but then all the way down to like stock jeeps so it's kind of a fun event and i really enjoy making their video um in the past i've made highlights but this year i think i'm going to make more of a little bit documentary so i've been interviewing some people and kind of having fun with that so let me show you my camera setup and then we'll go from there all right so here's my basic setup i have got the uh ronin s obviously then i'm on the um oh i am on the uh, r6 and uh, I basically just use a 24 to 105 um, most of the time. So then I've also got my um, just good old Rode Video Micro. Then I'm starting this new setup. I've never really used this before, but it's kind of cool where I've got the Rode Video Micro plugged in. But then when I want to do interviews, I switch to the um, little wireless go right here. And I just take this cable out and put it here. Now they make a cable that you can you can kind of blend both together, uh, but I just decided to do it this way. Um, and it's it's been working out all right. I just keep the, the wireless mic in my pocket and then I just flip it over and hand it to whoever I'm gonna interview. Then the other thing that I do is I put um, my ND filter on, which you can kind of see here. So we've got the ND filter that helps me with all of the bright light. Other than that, I will take it off of the Ronin, do some handheld stuff with the 70 to 200. Got my good old trusty bag. This thing is getting beat up, but uh, got my 70 to 200 in here. And then um, I've got my DJI Mavic um, Air 2. So other than that, that's all the gear that I've been using. All right, well, I think I'm going to jump in one of these Jeeps and get out of here. Uh, I'm going to put in some other footage and maybe do some other talking stuff throughout the day. So, see you soon. Well, I am back home now. Jeep stock is all finished up. I didn't get a chance to do any more like on location uh, little vlogs, but you know, it's not the end of the world. I mean, I'm there to film and it's a paid job, so I try and be as serious as I can and have just a blast getting as much footage as I can. Uh, just a couple like, you know, things after I've processed using this setup. One, I am so impressed with the EOS R6, which what is what we're filming on right now. Like when this first came out, I was excited about it, but then I heard about the IPB and I just, I figured that Canon would uh, dumb down the camera a little bit, but to be honest, 
this thing has uh, performed better than I could have ever expected. And so uh, I just really love this R6, both for photo and for video. I haven't had really any hard troubles with it yet. Uh, I know Potato Jet just released that video where he like destroyed the R6. And I disagree with pretty much everything that he said. Like the autofocus is incredible. I have never, ever had any trouble uh, with a with a firmware crash or whatever. The, the problems that was, he was having where it was locking up, never, ever. And then the uh, overheating, I seriously still haven't had this camera overheat. I was outside on the trails literally all day shooting in 4K 60, 4K 24, like nonstop. And I did eventually, in the middle of the day, see the overheat light come on, but the camera never overheated, and I never stopped doing what I was doing in the moment. So, uh, I mean, even for a paid job, this camera, it can keep up. So, I'm really pleased with some of the footage that I got, and I'm excited to put it together. This new documentary style that we're doing for Jeep Stock is going to be interesting and kind of see what we got. Um, I'm excited about that. And uh, I got some cool little interviews. I've done some doc style in the past, and so uh, that will kind of translate over into some of this Jeep stock footage. So it's kind of fun. I'm excited to see what happens. Um, other than that, uh, it's cool. Just a good time with good people. Uh, if you've never been around uh, like like dirty, fun hobbyists like this, I mean, it just you get covered in mud, you get, uh, you know, you just bond with people. And so it's just a really cool event for me to do. And it's one of the things I love doing every year. So uh, make sure to watch. I will probably post it on my YouTube channel. We'll see. Uh, otherwise, I will probably link at some point uh, their channel and post the video somewhere because I like it. It's one of my favorite projects that I get to do every year. So, other than that, if you've got any questions about my setup, the wireless Go setup versus the wireless or the micro video micro, why I use that or how that all worked, uh, leave a comment in the section below. Uh, I did uh, pop the R6 off and use the 70 to 200 handheld. I didn't spend the time rebalancing it, so you may see some of that shaky footage in there. But other than that, this setup is so good. I'm so pleased with uh, like a running gun R6 with the set, uh, 24 to 105 covers a huge amount of length. Still get some bokeh, believe it or not. You can get depth of field with the 24 to 105 f4, and then obviously the beautiful 70 to 200. Uh, you know, you use an ND filter with those and you can get incredible video. All right, guys, if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel and I will see you in the next one. Uh, yep, no surprises. Stick around. Here we go.